YouTube what is good. It's approximately 6.50 in the morning. I have a special purchase here. This is the Rolo label printer. So I'm going to set this up real quick and show you guys kind of how it works. All right, we're about to crack the seal on this Rolo. Let's see what we got to do here. So it only comes with a couple of labels. That's why I bought extra labels. Um, I'm not really sure exactly how many this is. It looks like 10 to 20. I think we have to download some software real quick, add a printer to our stuff, and then see what happens. Happy Tuesday. I've been in here since like 6 in the morning off and on getting to it. These are all orders that sold over the weekend, so I have to make sure to get them all out today. Some of them actually sold today, but let's get a final count on what we got here. Another 30 order day right here, guys. Super happy about it, glad and proud of myself that I got in here early to make sure that all these orders are ready to go. We also have this Levi's jacket right here and some other things, but I'm gonna go through what sold real quick. This just sold today. This is his Fire Pirates jersey. Guy asked if he'd have it by Friday. I said, hey, we'll get it out today. So that's what we're gonna do. We got some mosaic blaster boxes. Price on these is going down, um, but I'm still in them at like $53 a box. So I'm gonna continue to let go of them to reinvest my money. Here we got the Kobe size 13. These were on our eBay for a minute. They finally sold. Got some cooked Moaves. Here's probably the most expensive sneaker here, the Off-White Desert Ore Size 8 brand new with box, of course. Whoa, almost dropped that. Didn't want to do that. These two pairs right here have been on our eBay for quite some time, like a very long time, probably over a year. Again, guys, slow money better than no money. You know, you got to list the stuff for it to get sold. Here we got a Grand Hill. We got the Bucks Lanier jersey. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Shouts to the Bucks, man. Here we got the Wilt the Stilt jersey. Some Ame t-shirts, some giant shorts, fitted hat, crazy Bill starter jacket. We got a Rangers jersey, a James Harden shirt, a bunch of beaters. This pair right here I picked up from the storage room buyout, so that was cool. This pair just came in really cooked. This pair, again, we sold for like 50 bucks. Again, this is just stuff that we've had for so, so long. So I'm going to attempt to get all this stuff in a frame and take a picture, and then we're going to hopefully pack all this stuff up when the guys get here everyone i hope everyone has a great week let's have a great tuesday here's a pair that sold that i forgot about this is a super rare i believe nike by you levi's you know very limited release paid a lot for these paid about 300 for these something like that had them for a minute never really got any good offers finally someone made an offer of 340 dollars shipped you know, obviously selling it for that after holding them for, you know, six months to a year is pretty much, you know, losing money. But again, look at this sneaker. I probably shouldn't even have purchased it in the first place. Sometimes you take chances thinking something's rare. People will be interested. But at the end of the day, these are pretty damn ugly. I don't think anyone's really trying to rep Levi's like that. So get the money back. Even if you lose money, take it back, reinvest it, and try to find more flips to get that profit margin that you're looking for at the end of the day these were kind of sitting in the bin no one was interested so these are heading to a new home makes over 30 orders today definitely a beautiful feeling having over 30 orders after a long weekend uh, definitely feels good to get in here early and get them all set up and ready to get packed also as you guys know or saw earlier label printer Label printer has been working. Uh, you know, I definitely got to work some kinks out of it and figure out how to do wireless and all that stuff. But hey, man, we are all set with labels. Another order just in. Someone from Cali DM'd us and wanted a t shirt. So, shouts to you. We we're going to ship this one out. Uh, we definitely got to start supplying more merch and we will be making that soon. So, hopefully, we get a lot more t shirts and a lot of different sizes for you guys. So, this t shirt's heading to Cali. Thanks for the support. That's what's next going out. Weird. What just happened? Show what you just ordered. Because this is your personal order. You know. Jordan just ordered these. What size? Nine and a half. Nine and a half. What are those? The topes? The topes, yeah. And then this pair comes in within like 20 minutes of him opening the box in a nine and a half. So what pair is better? 
I'm not gonna lie. Originally, when I seen the drop, I thought this pair was better. I'm not gonna lie. But when that dude wore this pair, I seen them in person. I said, damn, like those look a lot cleaner in person. And then seeing those in hand, it's like these remind me of like something ACG like Moop, which is why I, I I like them and I'm kind of gravitating towards them. It's funny you said that because I had ACG, Nike ACG boots when I was a kid, that color. Really? What's going on, guys? What's up, fellas? How you guys doing? doing? All right, all right. You guys looking for anything specific? Nah, I was just working in the area, and I said I watch y'all guys every day on YouTube. So. Ah. Oh, yeah. That's you awesome. Come see the guys. My man, he... How you doing, dog? Want to know if you guys buy designer tees? Uh, no, nah, we'll probably pass on designer shirts. All right, no problem. Thank you. No problem. Have a good one. Couple of straggler orders. This one is heading to authentication center. So I don't even know where it's heading, but we had them for a minute. Probably on eBay for over a year. Finally sold. Also have this Detroit Red Wings hat, which would make sense, you know, if they wore that together, but it's two separate people. So this is heading to Cali. This is heading to authentication. Just some random stuff in today that I didn't look at yet. Here's one of them. Bruce Lee, something you don't see often. Hey, what's up, man? Oh. Hello? Hello? Uh, yeah, um, do y'all have the Syracuse one? No, no. One, nine and a half. Syracuse. High top dunks. Syracuse high top dunks? Yeah. In a nine or nine and a half? Hold on one second. No. No? You got nine or nine and a half? Neither. Uh, no, we don't. Not, not nine or nine and a half? No, we don't have either nine or nine and a half in that shoe. Alright, what size y'all got? Top shelf. Hello? Hello. Top shelf. Hi, are you guys open today? Uh, we are open, yep. Uh, what time are you guys closed? Um, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Alrighty. Uh, you guys have any uh with pink Uh what was that? Sorry. Any kids with like uh like a big little light pink uh UV? Um I'm pretty sure all the ones with pink are gone right now. Yeah, I don't think we have any pink UVs right now. Uh, if you wear a size 7 and 3 fourths, we might have a lot on our eBay store. But in store, honestly, we don't really have much. Usually, like, the good stuff goes pretty quick. Is it, like, more NBA shit? Or, like, I don't know. Uh, just kind of, like, whatever. Like I said, I would... I would check the eBay store, um, or just like, you know, sometimes stop in. But if you're like strictly looking for fitteds, I would try like, you know, the mall or some store that specializes, cause we don't necessarily specialize in them. We just sometimes get some stuff. No problem, have a good one.
Alright, so we're looking at today's sales. We got black toe ones, we got steel tens, LeBron 9 lows that are smoked. We got this Office Depot NASCAR jacket. I sniped for 25, sold for 60 bucks. So, you know, not the best profit, not the worst. Got this Pata Shimmer Jordan 7. I just want to, you know, this is an honorable mention right here because these are pretty nice and they're not really going for much bread, which is surprising. A Pata collab on an AJ7 looks kind of like the Bordeaux. So we're going to pack all that stuff up. So I didn't check the film, so I don't know how much I talked about this Rolo printer, but it's been great so far. We just printed out all our labels, quick and easy. But I still have some kinks to figure out, like how to make it go wireless to other devices. Right now, it's just plugged into the computer. But look how small it is. Just put all the paper right there and, you know, never have to pay for ink again. Gary's back. Back. Back it's raining this is what sold pata sevens i discussed those well i kind of discussed everything office depot jacket that only took a couple days to sell steel tens whoo clean clean slept on you know these were very very popular when they came out very very popular and we got another grail turn to nothing because you know those are grails when they were actually the you know whatever you call it pe or sample version so we got one two three four five five orders where's the black toes black toe ones cook pair of black toe ones we're gonna get those show those and yeah shout out to your guaranteed for this fire t-shirt he dropped this off yesterday um definitely appreciate it Check him out if you're looking for a sneaker restoration or get your sneakers clean. Yeah. All right, today I hit a PS5 on Amazon. Crazy, never thought I'd actually do that for retail. And it's funny because I could have pre-ordered like 30 PS5s and chose not to. That's one of the dumbest mistakes I've made in a while. Anyway, got some new stuff in. These are seriously smoked True Boo 3s. Travis Scott 1s. Well, Travis Scott 1 lows, but these are, you know, seriously smoked as well. But something you don't see. White cement fours, beautiful yellowing on these. Surprisingly, not really any cracking, really, which is surprising. We got a pair of these in yesterday, which I'm a fan of. Pretty nice. Wave runner, stony balonies. This is a really rare one, and I kind of want to tuck these for myself. I don't want to sound Ew, stupid. No. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. I'm not even joking. I think it was Derek Anderson, right? This is like the Derek Anderson PE or something. Your feet in it. Look what's in your hands, bro. Man. That don't matter, man. Nah, it's all about what you like. Body. That's not the body. Bro. So anyway, ch <laughs> check stock X. He's actually go for the high, but that doesn't matter. I mean, I, I like them regardless. But that's one of those purchases I didn't make because they were going for nothing, and then you know you look trying to buy them and they go for the high. So I wish I bought those brand new. Probably won't keep this pair because they'll flame me for it. This is just a replacement box. We got it. I had to cop it. It's not even an authentic. It's actually a swingman. It's not on me today, man. I don't have the hawk on me today. It's in my bag. All right, I had to go 2X too. Just in case you didn't know, I had to embrace the 2X. Is it for the body? I mean, yeah, it's for the collection, man. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Well, I don't know. We'll see, does it fit? So here we have it. The Toon Squad Swingman. You know. Stitched up, not bad. You got that swing man stitching on there. Look at LeBron's goofy face though in, in cartoon mode. I, I don't think that was needed right there, honestly. What do you guys think? I don't know. Childish. Yeah, a little childish, but it's a childish movie. I guess I'll take it out. I didn't see it. People are really disrespecting it. And I'm kind of like, it's a children's movie, guys. Like, you're not supposed to like it. I'm 30 years old. I'm supposed to like a Looney Tune movie right now. I still watch they show to the I mean, I do too, but it's different. Number six stitched. It's silky, man. What's so funny, man? I'm thinking about the, you see the video of him. It's a piece. That smells nice. I can't, I'm sorry. 
I love you wish they had the number six in the front too. That would so. Hmm. It feels nice though. Yeah, it, I like. It I feels like better it. Than it looks. I like it. Awesome, but yeah. All right, feel me real quick. Yeah, throw, yeah, throw it on the Two X. Two X. Alright, let's see if it fits. You're right. We're gonna see if it fits. Just again, the sizing, because you know with the reviews, if you don't put the shoe on your foot, they're gonna flame you. So, you know what I'm saying? Alright. I would say I would say two X fits like a good XL. This is still not this is not huge. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to go in the game. Give me a ball. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Yeah, with the with the bread on. See, one shot. <laughs> at least we know who the real gold is with the shoes, you know. And play. Is the ball really there? It should be usually over the bottom. We haven't been using it. Oh man, one shot only. Oh. Are you that's kidding fake. me? That's really fake. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That is really fake. What? <laughs> that is really fake. We got a witness. Yeah. <laughs> so Jordan is so mad. Yo, go ahead, take one shot. We're not playing fake today. Just take one. Nah, we gotta play you so all that mess you yesterday. We just did? Nah, we're not playing, bro. <laughs> all right, that's it. No more shooting till later. <laughs> but it must be the jersey, guys. It's definitely the shoes. Anyway, I'm gonna take this jersey off now and put it back in the package and put it away for like five years. So let's see what else happens today. As you can see, Giannis. You know, what I tell you guys was gonna happen. You know what's crazy? I get, that's last no night comment. when they won. I'm just I'm asking. Like, last night when I won, I'm like, I don't play here in eight tomorrow. <laughs> I, I, I was waiting for. Him. I was waiting for. Him. I, I was waiting for. Wait, him. Well, well, so when they when they when they were down two, what I say? Just uh, just you said one that time. They're still winning six. And what do y'all say? I said they were losing five or six. I said five. My my thing about this series was Giannis. That game. What game was that? Two. Yeah. Where he had 45 and his team did nothing. Two. And he was like about to die out there. That's After that game, I was like, his team's going to play for him. He's going to win. They're yeah. going to win. They're going to get it together. They have to play for this guy. Like, after you put it all out there like that. You know the real reason why they won? Game three, he pulled out the black Air Forces. They said, let's get right. Suited and booted. He said, let's get right. Top shelf. Hey, how's it going, bro? What's up? Uh, do, you guys, do you guys still have the cinnamon, uh, cinnamon toast crunch Tyrese? Uh, what size? Uh, it, it was the one that were on display. I don't know if you guys have multiple sizes. Uh, I think we have a size 9. So today I have to, you know, try to organize just a little bit. So the job is to get all of these sneakers situated into size order over here. So let's get that done. <clears throat> So now that I got away from the guys, I could kind of reflect on what I was trying to reflect on earlier. Um, that being said, Giannis' performance to me was super inspiring. I just wanted to harp on a couple of things that really inspired me about this performance. A, he got knocked out multiple times. You know, don't quote me on any of this. You know, I don't remember every stat and every statistic and when he got knocked, like all that stuff. So. Again, this is just why I'm inspired by the performance so much. You know, watching a guy get knocked out multiple, multiple times, you know, seeing and hearing everyone talk about somebody, they can't do it, um, they'll never get there, they'll never be anything better than what they are. You know, the free throw thing, the guy can't make free throws, they're laughing at him, you know, and... <laughs> He comes out and shoots free throws like one of the best free throw shooters I've ever seen. You know, he had an injury. He came back for the finals. They were down 2-0. It's just amazing and inspiring to me. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to, you know, put that in the video because it's just crazy. Like, I've been watching basketball a long time. Seeing him do what he did, it's, it's, just, it's just pretty crazy to me. And, and, and inspires me to wake up today and really get after it. And really, like, future-wise, get after it. You know, he's a humble guy. Family man. Does the right things. Works hard. Gets better at his craft. And he's going to continue to get better at his craft. And, you know, he didn't have a jump shot. Last night, he hit a couple fadeaways. It was, you know, he put on a really, really good performance. So I don't want to forget about that and not mention that. Um, so, yeah, shouts to him. 
because that was crazy. Hey, here we got this Fire Mets 2009 inaugural season hat. Uh, I think we've recently got this in, so it's nice to see it go out. One thing that I don't post a lot on eBay is hats. I have a lot on eBay, but I don't post a lot on eBay when it comes to hats. I know that sounds stupid, but there's like so many more hats that I have that could be on eBay. And when I sell hats, it makes me think like, hey, I should definitely put more on eBay. So that's definitely going to be one of the goals of mine. Put as many hats as I have on eBay. If I see a hat that I have that's just sitting around and it's not selling, I got to throw it on eBay because stuff sells, especially if you could drop the price and you know put it up for a decent price. Up, man. Damn, that thing buzzing, huh? That bag was close. <laughs> Thank you, bud. Thank you, man. Bring them Yeezys through if you want. <laughs> well, hey, if you could stock it, I mean, if they brand new, throw them on online yourself. Cause... Yeah, I want one time. Trying to make a deal for these off whites. He stepped out to grab something else, but we got quite the trade about to go down. We just bought some jerseys. I'm going to Jordan, Jordan analyze real quick. Crazy trade just went down. All this stuff plus 500 bucks for an off-white UNC. Didn't think that was going to happen to start today, but, you know, kind of made sense. I'm on the fence. It got to make sense. That's my, that's Fat Rockstar. Yeah, it, that's just been in my head lately, like. All right, guys, excuse the feet, man. I know I've been, like, switching my shoes all day. I started the day wearing my bread ones from 2013. For some reason, they've just been bothering the heck out of my pinky toe. And I'm walking and doing so much stuff today that I cannot be uncomfortable. So then I threw these on. Just something we had in the warehouse, brand new. And, of course, they're starting to fall apart. So I'm back to the Syracuses, which I had in here just sitting around. So that's what we're doing today. Just got a bunch of stuff in, clothing-wise. Supreme, Noah, Supreme, that's that. Here we're going to look at the jerseys. First up, we got the Lawrence Taylor. Again, these are all big sizes, and this is stuff I usually don't buy. In this particular instance, the guy came in, he wanted like $200 a jersey. I said, hey, bro, you might as well turn around because we're going to be way, way off. You know, people wonder well, why I take this stuff and whatever. You know, I buy anything for the right price. If it's not the right price, I'm not going to buy it. So, you know, we make people offers. You want to accept it, you can accept it. If you don't, totally understandable. The funniest thing to me is usually when people tell me about eBay and they tell me about this place and that place and this thing and that place to sell, da, da, da. I tell them to do it. And what do they tell me? Well, I don't got time for that. Well, I don't want to ship it. Well, that's a headache. Well, all those wells equal why I'm offering you 30 to $50 a jersey. Right? That's what it comes down to. So, this is probably the best jersey out of the batch. Hopefully, we can get like, I don't know, 150 for this guy on eBay. Other than that, the Jordan obviously is a classic. They're definitely good pieces, just a lot of bad sizes. So, I'm going to hopefully get all this stuff up ASAP. But first, I have to continue to work on this GS rack. Got to stack it up, make sure everything's a little more organized. Yeah, what's up, big dog? What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up? No? That makes sense. I've been saying it got to make sense like every day. You inspire me. That's a legendary slogan. Nah, for real, you inspire me, especially with buying stuff. That's what I'm going to start telling people. They come in, they want 250 Hey, bro, I'll give you a hundred. Da da da. It gotta make sense. Crazy. <laughs> if I'm buying it, it gotta make hard. sense. It is hard. That shit hard. You really been using that? I language? swear to God. I say that shit all the time. From now on, it's like, yo, if I'm buying it, it gotta make sense. If it don't make sense for me, it don't matter if you think it makes sense. If I think it makes sense, it happens. If I if I don't, no. He did say that this morning too. Yeah. Gotta make sense. Shit, Dude bro. came in, he wanted two thousand dollars shoe. He had a bunch of shit. I said, bro, it gotta make sense. <laughs> <laughs> So that yeah, shit really went international, bro. It's very, very Gosh true indeed. See it through, my boy. That shit went international. We got a bunch of beaters. We got to put away a bunch of beat hats. Oh my God, this. Got some more shoes. Oh, LA Rams and LA Raiders. Now I'm just um, adding some jerseys to the website slash eBay page. You know, eBay is the website. 
a lot of these jerseys are bigger style jerseys but hey you know big guys need love too so my strategy of doing it which probably isn't the best strategy but uh you know everything should be on an iCloud i just have way too many pictures and i kind of need to buy a new computer so i can put um a lot of my pictures on the computer and not worry about having them on the cloud or whatnot so i'd free up space so i'm definitely saving up for a new computer because this one's really old and uh this is all i kind of got this is like my best thing right now so i definitely want to upgrade this to something bigger so hopefully uh moving on to bigger and better things you know when the time comes but as of right now, this thing's still purring. I'll probably keep, still keep it, but anyway. So I like to uh, type out my listing here, and then once I type it out, I add the pictures from here, and then I kind of just, you know, reload. As you can see, we have so many drafts right now. The guys are throwing stuff up in the drafts. We've been throwing a lot of hats up because, again, the hats, you know, even though we get them super cheap, you never know what you can sell a hat for on eBay. That's kind of the new thing I'm finding out. So I'm going to continue to get these up. I got a couple orders to ship out as well. So we're going to talk about those too. But let me just finish these listings first and I'll get back at you. So I literally just listed this jersey. Within two minutes, it sells for 160 Obviously, I put, you know, there's marks on the jersey. Check them out and the pictures, scan pictures, you know, for condition. Um, in the description, right? This guy proceeded to just buy the jersey right away for 160 So I said, damn, did I underprice it? And obviously, it's a reseller. I check his page, and he has, you know, every Mitchell and S jersey to Wazoo priced at 250 plus. So I figured, oh, he's going to resell it. He proceeds to message me and ask, are there any issues with the jersey? It's like, dude, look at the pictures. Like, you, you just you just hit buy it now thinking you're going to make $150. It's not that easy. Clearly, I know if the jersey was in perfect condition or if the jersey was brand new, I would price it higher. And honestly, I'm going to price it higher now anyways. But, uh, you know, I know it's a rare piece and some rare pieces you have to find. And if you find it, it's going to, you know, have some issues. So, again, this this part gets annoying too because you know cancellations you got to make sure they get relisted you got to make sure they get the money back and sometimes the money takes a while and blah blah, blah. so anyway we're going to up the price on this guy to two hundo and uh we're going to relist it so hopefully the next person who buys it actually looks at the jersey you know and doesn't just like hit buy it now thinking that they're getting a 300 dollars jersey for half the price just got a trusty label here for this pair of air jordan one mid camels had these for a really long time, wasn't accepting offers because they were just super, super clean. And now that I'm looking at them, honestly, they look basically brand new, even though we put them as pre-owned. So these sold for about 188 shipped, had them up for about 225 and let's see what else sells today. We're just winding down. Thankfully, we got, again, and I, and I changed my shoes again because I stopped home. You're not going to hit it, so... Don't hit my head, man. All right, so we bought a bunch of stuff. We took pictures of a few things. Quick notable mention: this Kuji came in. I mean, come on. Not a lot of not not all sneaker stores take Kujis, or know what a Kuji is. I used to live that Kuji life. Yeah, you live that Kuji life. Or you you know what a Kuji is? Your pops wasn't wearing a Kuji. Damn. You listen to Biggie. I used to. I, don't, I, don't, I never liked Biggie that much, though. You don't. You don't keep the Coogee in the closet. Nah, I'm more, I was more of a Tupac fan than Biggie. Me too, but I mean, you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta listen to it. know a couple of things. Of course. I mean, you listen to Biggie. Not anyway, uh, Gary was away for a little bit, so me and Jordan didn't do our annual. Or not annual isn't the word. I guess the daily. Uh, was ducking that smoke. I wasn't ducking any smoke. Was ducking I held smoke. the belt for a week straight, <laughs> all three belts <laughs> happily. Was I wasn't here. Yo, he Again, was ducking the smoke. I wasn't ducking the smoke. We got out on time. We had things to do. We got a lot of work done. And like right now, it's six fifty four. I mean, you guys are gonna want to play to like seven fifteen, but. We'll make this one quick. You know, I'm going to shut the film off so they, they don't get this on camera. Put it on camera. Because they're going to be upset after this one.